brand new week on NC Trends. Welcome as I walk you through the major topics currently stirring conversations on social media. I am Shun Bankoli. We begin with the sad news of the death of veteran Hollywood actress Rachel Oniga. Her son Olatunji confirmed that she died around 10 p.m. on Friday night after being diagnosed with malaria and typhoid. Nollywood stars and a lot of Nigerians have continued to pay tribute to the 64-year-old actress who featured in scores of Nollywood movies before her demise. Here are a few of the tributes online. We start off with um, this comment from Kofi of Portacut and he says, Oh no, this one hurts so with lots of heartbreak emojis. Also, Jackie Mula says, I know it's crazy, but I don't even cry when people die anymore. I'm getting used to this because life did me dirty already. Hmm. May Rachel Oniga's soul continue to rest in peace. We now move to some bright news for Nigeria and Africa at large as Commonwealth champion Blessing Oboru Dudu on Monday made history as the first Nigerian to reach the final of a wrestling event at the Olympics after recording an impressive 7-2 victory against London 2012 Olympics bronze medalist in a semi-final clash. Now with this feat, the 32-year-old is guaranteed a silver medal at least. This makes it the first wrestling medal in the country's history at the Olympics. Let's now see how internet users are reacting to this good news. First, Naomi Crystal says, thank God, after all the disappointments so far in the Olympics. Also, we have this comment from Papitino. He says, see me thinking we were going home without anything. Well, congratulations to Blessing. Yeah, congrats, Blessing. Adeji says, to the Nigerian government, when she does win, we celebrate her in every possible way. Bracket, not media promise, oh. not audio promise. <laughs> Lastly, Ghanaians are talking about rapper Sakode's apology about a tweet he directed at the president of Ghana during the December elections. Now here's a little background story, guys. During the 2020 general elections campaign, President Akufu Adon acknowledged the fact that Sakode added NPP's popular slogan, the battle is still the Lord, to his Happy Day song. And as a result, the president's official Twitter handle shared the song. Well, to escape any political endorsement at that time, Sakodi replied to the president's tweet saying, shout out to you, but if I feel like pointing out negatives too, you know how we do. He gave him some chop knuckle over there. Now, looking back at how his comments may have seemed at the time, the rapper during an interview this morning seized the opportunity to apologize to the president, saying that he did not mean it in a harmful way and he just wanted to make light of the issue. Well, what are people saying online? Let's find out. This one says, King Sack, may you be great. Long live King Sakodie and his entire generation. Hashtag no pressure. Also, another fan says, the king, the highest, the greatest. Two hands in the air for Sakodie. And this one says, bad man, in a way to hail Sakodie and let him know that they still rate him very well in Ghana. Well, that's all I have for you today on NC Trends. Remember to drop a comment online and follow us across social media at New Central TV. Also, subscribe on YouTube for more. Thank you for watching. I'm Shion Bankoli. Let's now get back to the rest of the Continental Prime News.